I wonder who our new substitute teacher is today. Wiggity woggity yeah, you get the idea. I'm Mr. X, and since your normal teacher is off fighting in the Clone Wars, that can't be right, I'm your substitute teacher for the time being, and I look forward to teaching you some history today. Um, Uncle X, this is math. Oh crap, I reviewed the wrong syllabus. How do I get around this snafu? Okay, I reviewed the wrong syllabus. How do I get around this snafu? Any ideas? Let's go ahead and do history instead. I want to learn all about the War of Western Aggression. What? That's what Sauron calls the War of the Ring. Ugh. Anyway, I guess we're doing history today. Um, Surabi, could you stand up and explain the concept of, uh, I don't know, war? Sure thing, Daddy. Aw, ahem. War is when two groups of rich people disagree about something. So each side sends their mother's sons out to rob the other side's mothers of their sons. Um. Whichever side causes the most anguish among the other side's mothers is generally declared the winner. Then the two groups of rich people sign contracts that they have no intention of upholding. And then they establish national holidays where they glorify the anguish they've caused the other side's mothers. Oh, and depending on how equitable each group of rich people is, mothers' daughters might be involved in the fighting too. The end. Okay, let's immediately and mercifully get back onto math. Oh, and sometimes the losers get in trouble for war crimes, but the winners rarely get in trouble for their war crimes. Like I said, onto math. Um, you, Varen, <clears throat> can you please prove the square root of 49 for the class? <laughs> Oh no. 39 minutes later. So, as you can plainly see, as this value approaches infinity, this one converges to a value arbitrarily close to the square root of 49, namely 7. QED. I just asked you what the square root of 49 was. No, you said prove the square root of 49. Yeah. Alright, health class. We're doing health class now instead of math. Hooray! Soon I'll be getting to rifle through a musty 30-year-old textbook to ogle crude yet undeniably sexy educational drawings of lady parts. Oh no, I said that really pervy thing about the lady parts out loud when I should have just said it in my head. Oh no, my internal dialogue has been made external for the sake of cheap comedy. Why? Like I said, on to health class. You, perpetually friendly looking nephew. Let's take you for example. Who, me? You're probably going to be dating soon, right son? I, I guess so, probably. And I'm sure you've started noticing girls, am I right? Well, I, um, <clears throat> actually, I'm not, um. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that was an embarrassing assumption on my part. I it's okay. No, no, hold on a moment. I guess what I'm trying to say to everyone is, uh, when you do start dating, uh, use protection, respect consent, and, uh, class dismissed. Oh, thank goodness. How did I do, sweetie? Well, Daddy, I see it as a matter of comparison. Mr. Gabara scratched lotto <laughs> tickets all day when he was subbing, Ms. Daigoro's mother tried to turn us into yeah. assassins, and Mr. Cotter kept calling us sweat hogs. So yeah, you're at least doing better than the competition, Daddy. Aw.